Hello and welcome to another video on the Team Up Meow new channel. I'm your host David and I'm joined again by my good friend and fellow teammate Ashley. Hello. And today we are playing Lanterns, the Harvest Festival. Beautiful game. It is a really nice game. Uh, the setup's quite simple. Um, this is one of those games that you can, it's like Carcassonne. You play a tile, things happen and then it's the next person's turn sort of thing. Um, in this game, you will place a tile and then you receive lanterns depending on where you're situated on the table. Um, at the beginning of the game, you start off with the starting tile, which is here. Um, Ashley is actually in the top left-hand corner, so he'll get a blue lantern card. Dom will get a red, and Natalie will get a black. Uh, in subsequent turns, you'll play a card, a tile, sorry, and receive more lanterns. You substitute those lanterns for dedication points, and whoever has the most dedication at the end of the game wins. I think they actually call it honour in the rule book. Um, have you ever lit a lantern? Like one of them I've, Chinese lit, I've lit a Chinese lantern, yeah. They're the ones that go up in the air, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, they're fun. You hear that story about where uh, they've lit the lantern and it's fallen into a field and then the field's caught fire. I, I actually see it in the news, it was last year probably, when didn't they um, recycle factory set on fire? Yeah. <laughs> it was ridiculous, then they banned Chinese lanterns. <laughs> Forever. It's not fair. Oh, God. Everyone loves a Chinese lantern. Yeah, exactly. Um, every time that you connect the lanterns together on the tiles and they the ca the colors match you receive a, a favor token you receive one favor token if there is a platform on the tile that you placed or the tile that you place is connected to a tile that has a platform on it on it as you can see dom's about to play a lantern card now uh, play a tile which matches black onto the panda platform and he will receive a bonus black as well as his green and a fortune, obviously. Um, at the beginning of the game, there's not really a real strategy, would you say? No, I think, like I said, like I say, you've got to try and optimize how many cards you can get from the beginning. Yeah. That's all I. That's all I'd say, really, and try and stagger your colors. Yeah, definitely. Because as you can see right from the beginning, the to, if you give seven different color tiles, you'll get that ten token. And to get that from the beginning to start is it's very strong. Mm, it's definitely. very strong. It so. puts you at such an advantage, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. So this is just the second turn that everyone's taken. Um, I think it was the second. Yeah, second turn. We've now entered the third. And already you can see Dom's been quite unlucky. He's got three blacks, three reds, whilst you and Natalie are kind of spread yeah. amongst everything. Natalie has now only got two cards, that lanterns that she doesn't have. The same with you. Dom's got two that he's missing, but he's already had his turn now. It's been really unfortunate. Um, do you... How, Focused are you when it comes to gaining fortune favor tokens? I mean, do you is that like your main focus when you play the game? Do you try and get as many as you can? No, I I mean I don't really go for the favor token. I just try and get as much of the different colored lanterns as I can. That's or I try and focus. optimize. That's my main focus. Mm. Um, in this game in particular, actually, um, I do actually try and stop Dom from getting. Um, different colours all the time yeah. and he does notice it's halfway through the game he does get very annoyed with <laughs> uh, you will meet Dom at some point I imagine let's, guys let's not meet um, Dom no let's meet Dom but uh, <laughs> yeah I do, try, I do try and keep him out of the game as much as possible Dom in mm. this game yeah I mean it's very hard to play a tile and receive as much as you can and at the same time stop your opponent from getting any lantern oh, it cards is. it really is I mean it's a game of luck really. you have three tiles in your hand and you want to try and optimise how many cards you've got and you want to try and stop your opponent from getting any cards, but it is it does sometimes turns do take a while, especially later on in the game. Yeah, exactly. Turns take very long. Mm, exactly. Um, I mean, when I was editing, there was probably around two three minutes between a couple of couple of people's turns. Dom took I think a couple of minutes, maybe two minutes was the most, and he took that. Natalie was quite quick, but I'm not too sure about you actually. I don't think you were particular. I think you may have had one turn where you fought really hard and that was towards the end. Yeah. Because obviously towards the end that's where you start to use all your resources and you want to make sure probably around turn seven you want to try and make sure that you've got everything that you actually have. At the moment you've just ended your turn everyone's got um, one dedication tile Dom's about to buy. Oh sorry no you've just bought your second dedication tile at the end of yours. So obviously you've got an advantage over everyone now. Yeah. When you end your turn if you're on par with everyone, then obviously it's, you're on par. But at the moment, you're you're ahead of everyone. But if you see, you've got three lantern tiles, or everyone else has well, a lot more than you. Uh, they've like Dom's got eight, and uh, Natalie has eight also. When you're placing this tile here, and obviously you'll get a favor token, and you'll get 
the bonus purple and a white. And there's still, it's quite hard to look at the lineup of lanterns that are still in stock and think to yourself, all right, if I take this and this, that will leave this person. It's very hard to think ahead in this kind of game, isn't it? Oh, it is sometimes. It's, yeah, it's, li- it's literally play your tile and see what you get, sort of thing, especially towards the beginning. You can see now that Dom's stacking up on them fortunes, on them favour tokens. He loves them. Yeah. I think when I spoke to him, he said, like, he thinks they're key. Definitely. I've played one game with Natalie and she hoarded around six of them. And she could have won the game, to be fair, but she she neglected to use them and ended up losing in the end. And she actually got the 10 yeah, that you, she start, did, that you yeah. start off with. And I was only a, a turn away from getting that next and she took it from me. Yeah, it was really frustrating. Yeah. From the brink. Yeah. Just looking now, Dom's not in a bad position, but next turn he can actually swap out for, he can use his favour tokens to swap out for uh, the four purples. Um, you give back two favour tokens, you give a card back, a lantern card, and you receive any uh, lantern card that you desire. Um, so he's a, he actually has access to just that only, just the four one. Whilst you already can get nearly the 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 um the green one again. Yeah. The all seven. As you can see there, I just I try to maximise all the different colours I've got there. I've and got you a black, did. a green and a red. Yeah, definitely. So kind of covering across all the m- many colours as possible mm. there. De- definitely next turn. Natalie won't be able to unless Dom gives her a black or a purple, Natalie won't be able to go for the for the eight. So that one almost Oh no wait, Dom's already taken it. I didn't yeah. even realise. <laughs> Amazing. I'll get the next day. You'll get the next day, so that's not too bad. The uh, the points actually stagger as well, depending on how many players um, are playing. The more players there are, the more high numbers there are. I think the, the green one starts off 10, then it goes double 9, double 8, double 7, then 6, 5. I mean, this one, I think there's a single 9. Yeah, it must be. You see now there's hardly any purples left. I'm thinking at this point, it's really hard to tell what you're trying to go for. I mean, you have access to getting the next seven, yeah. the, green, the blue seven, and you've only got one favour token. There's not really much you can do. So sometimes you rely on other people to give you Oh, you do? What you really, want. yeah. I mean, you really do. Mm. You really want to try and keep your mouth shut as well, because sometimes <laughs> you go to say something and they won't play that move. Yeah. You know, if you just keep quiet, let them do their thing, because... We've said it before when we played this game. You, it's hard. Sometimes it is hard not to make a move that helps other players because you really want to help yourself first. Yeah, exactly. That's the that's the main priority. Yeah. And if you start thinking about if I play this, my opponent won't get this. You start thinking, hey, so that means I won't be able to do as much as if I was to play this card that would give me free tiles. I mean, that one hit that one there. You just played was amazing. It gives you free tiles. You'll get two. You'll get double blue, and you'll get the fortune token and yeah. you'll get an orange as well which is really the most that's the, probably the maximum amount you could get really it's going to be very rare that you can get four or five five would be oh. obviously, obviously that's the that's the maximum number you can get yeah that would be pure luck yeah definitely I think you'd have to play the game so many times to remember what patterns there are yeah I mean I just about remember the start pattern that there's a blue black red and white so Dom's just played his turn and he's got four dedication tokens. It looks like you have or well, you have two fortune uh, tokens so you can also swap out and go for that blue six if you wanted to. Or well, optimally, we would like Natalie to play a card that will give you either a black or a purple. That would be very nice. Because then you can swap out and go for that go for that seven. I'll have to hopefully see that she plays something along those lines. Dom's always running out of resources. I've noticed nearly at the end, every time he buys something, he always has pretty much nothing. And she's done exactly what you wanted her to. She's given yeah. you that black, so you're able to give in your two fortunes next turn, get a purple, and you can get those that seven points. That's it. You can rely on other people sometimes to get you what you need. Yeah, exactly. And I think that move in particular, I think that does actually help me win the game. I get the last highest token on mm. the board. Uh, well, well, there's still another seven left, but Dom's so far away from that. Yeah. Natalie's probably next closest. And at the moment, you're two points ahead of Dom, who is currently one point, I think, in front of Natalie. 
seen already. So you get a double black. No, you, you get a single black yeah. and you get a white, white and then you get two, two fortunes. Yeah. And so you're only missing out on three colours at the moment. I mean, do you try... Obviously, it depends on what you what lanterns you have in stock. But, I mean, do you try and always go for the greens? Because obviously they're, they're the most favourable ones. They give you the most points, the green ones. Yeah, I think that's that's the aim to try and go for them. Obviously, you use the most tokens to get them, but it just seems like the best player to make go for the greens because they're the highest score. Yeah. And whether people don't know it or not, I think everyone's trying to get the highest tile possible. Yeah, of course. Um, so everyone's going to try and go for the single tiles. Just how lucky you are during the game. Hmm. But again, now I've just got a purple again, which I'm now again two colours off of getting another green tile. Yeah, exactly. And it looks like Natalie can also get the next green tile after you. Yeah. It's a very interesting game. Mm, it's very beautiful. It's very pretty. I mean, we didn't realise when 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 we, when we were playing it, we didn't realise how nice it looked from the camera. Yeah. Because you don't you don't see this layout. It does look like the flowers are sitting on a a bed of water. And it yeah. does look really nice from this camera. Mm. When you're playing, you don't see this angle at all. And no. it, it really does. Uh, you, the lines are, are gone from the cards, and it's just really nice. It's a really yeah. nice game. Mm, definitely. Especially for November time, it's a. Oh yeah, fireworks night and everything. Yeah, fireworks night. It just looks really nice. Hmm. I'm um a bit disappointed that we can get green for Carcassonne because that's a kind of similar thing. You play tiles, and when you look at bird's eye view, that's also really beautiful. Oh yeah, definitely. You can see actually, Dom's kind of st not staggered, but almost forced to make to buy other dedications. You've gone for the green pretty much every time, and every time you've gone for something, he could have gone for the same thing, but he doesn't want to fall behind and just skip a turn, so he has to buy something. So he always buys something, the next best thing. Yeah. It's been really unfortunate for him because he is, you know, one, two turn, two points behind you. I think um, it's not an easy game to play, and at the same time, it's not too difficult either. There is a layer of strategy, and there's definitely a lot of luck, really. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Not just based on what you play, also what your opponent plays as well. So what is that now? Dom has five, so you've been able to get the sixth one. Was that a six? Yeah, it was a six. Yeah. So that's, that's the fifth green you've got. If you look at everyone else, and Natalie got two greens. And Dom's mainly gone for the blues. It's the fourth green. Fourth green, sorry. So everyone plays until there are no tiles in hand. And on the last turn, everyone gets to play their last... Um, their last lanterns that they have so Dom's going to trade in what did he trade in and he got the the triple blue and then you take the six and that puts you at a lot of points <laughs> you see Dom actually played pretty much a perfect game um, you can see he's got hardly anything he's only just left with one card so everything his last two turns were actually really 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 impressive Natalie unfortunately couldn't get anything on her last turn she wasn't able to you know, maybe around turn eight, turn nine, that's when you should, you need to think to yourself, right, I need to get two dedication points on my last two turns. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm. So Dom ends up on 42, Natalie ends up 37. You know, a nice 45 points. All in all, you did enjoy this game. Oh, I really enjoy this game. It's fun. I mean, we played it with three players, we played it with four. I mean, there's not really much difference I would say no I don't think it's one of the many, uh, one of the few games actually where there's not much difference between a 3 to 4 player game yeah, definitely. I think the game is probably slightly quicker in a 4 player mm. um, just because it gives you time to make your move for the turns come around and and things like that but it's a really enjoyable game I mean if you guys have never heard of this I'd uh, recommend going out and buying it it's a really easy game to pick up especially if you've played games like Carcassonne before and mm. you like the Toll uh, games then I definitely recommend this game definitely. it's definitely up there it's a nice resource management game oh, as yeah, I definitely, definitely know it's one of Dom's favourites yeah alright well I guess that is it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and I guess we'll see you next time yeah have fun bye how do we um, end this again um, sure me and David are going to go dance naked on a table <laughs> <laughs> catch catch the video on a different website which we'll link below <laughs> yeah. oh no Dom <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> tapping the toilet <laughs> what was he? did you not see he had it spit out he touches that that orange tongue and goes <laughs> <laughs> watch it <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
don't know why he's tapping it for so long. <laughs> oh, God. It makes me laugh. <laughs>